Hello, so welcome from IPSOC 15 in Bangalore in India. You know this famous event, we have now 350 registered, present people I should say, we are very happy about this conference. I'm happy to speak with a rather small company, uh, with Massey World Deep. He's coming from a company called Swedish IP Semiconductors. So I asked him why Swedish is something to do with three dimension, three type of IP or what? So, in fact, he works on uh, flash storage, and 3D is something for the future, where you will have three, three dimension storage. So now I know the reason of the name of this company. Yeah, I'm sure that he has to tell us very fascinating news about uh, his company and the innovation of this company. Okay. So, as of now, our, com our company is working on four different types of IPs. One is digital IP, other is your software IPs. So in digital IP, we are working on UFS uh, 2.0 protocol, which is a next generation protocol for memory storage. It's a JDAC standard. And in UFS, we have developed uh, two IPs. One is UFS 2.0 verification IP. And secondly, we have developed UFS 2.0 uh, virtual prototyping, which is system C models. And secondly, we are working on uh, MIPI IPs also. In MIPI, we have developed uh, two IPs, one is MIPI M5 3.0, another is MIPI Unipro 1.6. So, so as of now, our focus is to develop uh, IPs, and our next goal for this year, to develop a, a Unipro controller also. And going forward, the focus will be to develop uh, products too. So, oh, okay. so you want to, want to add? I think this looks a very, very good roadmap, and I think you are on a success track. Do you want to add more? <laughs> yes. So, uh, so, uh, so right now we are a you know 15 member team, but now we are going to expand a lot. And uh, as I mentioned, we will not be just be focusing on UFS, but we will be working on you know other protocols like solid state drives. EMMC, which has a you know great potential, so our main focus is to you know consider it on IPs which are you know which will be used for mobile devices, smartphones, laptops, because you know the growth is there in these you know market segments. So, so the key uh, USP of our uh, product is uh, here we are developing uh, IPs using a modular architecture, in which we can you know which is a plug and play uh, type of a structure. Suppose a customer had developed a, uh, his own UFS, uh, his own RTL, actually. So what he can do, he can use our, you know, some modules, and, and it can integrate in, in his products. So it's a modular type of architecture where, you know, we can, you know, help him integrate uh, our IPs, you know, with his own products. In addition to this, uh, we are also working on uh, virtual prototyping. In this, what we are doing, we have covered the entire device controller as well as host controller. So basically, this uh, virtual prototyping is nothing but we are, mim we are mimicking the actual hardware as a software so that the system level engineer who is developing the whole system, he can use our virtual prototype and can plug in his own software and check whether the whole architecture is working properly or not. So, you know, it will give a, you know, huge time to market advantage for him. Uh, and he can, you know, design his own architecture very quickly. He can have a closure on the bugs very fast. So these are, you know, uh, these are, you know, uh, some of the key, you know, uh, means key USPs of our product. Thank you. I think it's it's very important, yeah, that you include the virtual prototyping to really make the whole system working. Usually the problem is how do I test it? How am I sure it works? I think it's uh, it's good. And so next year will be a bigger company and more ambitious even. Yes, sure. <laughs> That's why you are here in India. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. See you next Thank you. time. Thanks. Thanks.